So for this tutorial, you're gonna need a loot turner, some scissors, some tailor chalk, and a clear ruler. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna start off with a front bodice as a sample piece. And then you do wanna make two strips. This is gonna be the jaw strings and the loops for the top, but we'll work into that later in the tutorial. So I'm taking my ruler and marking the center as to where I want to make the cut for the loops. Once you've done that, you just wanna make a straight line. And after that, line it as to where you want it to stop and how wide you want it to be. So I did about an inch on the outside from the middle line and you just wanna cut it out. So once you cut it out, it should look like this. And the piece I just cut out, all I'm doing is using it as a template to make the facing. And all I'm doing is adding an inch all the way around except for the top part. After you made your markings, all you want to do is cut it out. Now that you have your facing pattern cut out, you just want to place it on the fabric and cut it out. Once it's all cut, you just want to set it aside. Now it's time for us to start working on the loop strings and the draw strings. So you just want to take fabric that is about one inch wide and about 44 inches long, but the length and the width depends on how wide you want it to be. Once you sew down the sides, you just wanna take your loop turner and flip it inside out. If you're not sure how to use a loop turner, I do have a tutorial. The link will be in the description bar. Now we're just trying to figure out how long you want your loops to be. And you can use your clear ruler to place where you want them to be on your garment. After you have them all pinned down, you just want to top stitch with a zigzag stitch. And then it should look like this. Now it's time to place our facing on top of our loops. And then you just want to top stitch with the zigzag stitch all the way around. Then you just want to clip the corners so that it's smooth and flat when you flip it on the other side. Once you have done that, you just want to top stitch with a zigzag stitch so the facing doesn't flip on the outside. So now I'm just putting the drawstrings in the loop. The loops are a little off as far as distance because I did eyeball it. But after you're done, you just want to tie knots at the end and you're officially done for this look. Also, if you would like to check out some different looks you can do by using this technique, make sure to check out my website in the blog area. The link will be in the description bar or you can click the screen. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe and I'll see you next week for a new video.